Annie's in. Bobby's in. Uh, Barvieski's in. Uh, yeah, and uh, Rotowald will be sent down. Uh, Kachuk is in. So, yeah, great news. And Smitty's on the ice. So, uh, great news for about him yesterday. So, we're looking at uh, maybe a week. So, a lot faster than we thought. So, it's all positive. That's good. Really good. I mean, we've been uh, doing with a lot of injuries for a while now, for a long time. So, anybody coming back is good. But when you got a lot of guys that are on their way back or back already, it's all, uh, it's all good for us. 12 and 6 or? Uh, no, we'll go with 7, but I'll make my decision after the... Uh, after the, the skate tonight. Where has the Smith made progress? Oh, it, it, it's it, honestly the progress part in his in his case is really it's yes or it's a no. It's not a how it's going really. It's it's and so with a cage, it gives him the possibility of playing. So it's it's right now getting him in shape, uh, giving him a more and more week for things to heal a little bit better, and he's ready to go. Yeah, yeah, that was bad. I mean, if you saw it, like that was not fun to watch, but so it's good. I mean, he's still got the pretty face now, so he's okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Honestly, I thought it would be one more month. So that's that's we were all at. So it's it's really good. I thought the doctors did an unbelievable job. So much that you don't even see anything. Everything was done from inside, and so yeah. I, I don't want to be a doctor, and yeah, it doesn't sound good, but. It looks good right now. Like it's, it's. I'm quite impressed, to be honest with you. It's quite impressive. Uh, so he's happy. The team's happy. He's such a, an important part for us of our intangibles and the group. And he brings a greediness and all that. So you know, we've been missing a lot of players for a while, and we know that it's it, uh, it it's hurt us, especially in the third periods. Uh, it's been hard for us to sustain what we do. Um, so most of the games we've lost, we were in the third period when you know we're lacking juice, and because of the injuries, the guys are in the youth. So whenever we get those guys back, that makes a gigantic difference for us. So looking forward to have every everybody at some point um, and uh, be able to sustain what we do in for the first two periods for sure. When, uh, when you lost Brady Kachuk, I think you were right on the verge, you said you were excited to see him with Tyrion and Stone. Yes. And is that still something that you'd like to play around with? Or? Not for now. No, no, not for now. I think right now Brady hasn't played in a long time. So let's let's go one step at a time, see what he can take, uh, look at his 5-on-5, five five, let him build up his, uh, his timing, uh, uh, and, and then we'll see after that where, where, where everything fits. Uh, I know he works well with Stoner. He lives at his house, so they eat together, do everything together. So, uh, you know, that is a possibility at some point. But I think right now that line's doing really well. Uh, with uh, Zingle and Duchesne, so uh, right now I'm, pl I'm not planning to touch that, and we'll, we'll, we'll see as we move along here. What uh, and, and of course, when other players come in, Smitty and all that, it gives us different possibilities of what types of lines. And depending on you know, last game we, uh, you know, we were supposed to put uh, White, Pyatt, and uh, and uh, Pay RV against the top line, and then we started it. I didn't like the matchup. Uh, the previous game was terrific against uh, Stamkos. That game I didn't like it as much, and all of a sudden I had Tierney play against them and they play terrific so you know I think right now it's it's uh, having option a B and C and figuring out during the game I think is is uh, is more what we're looking at he, what do you hope the return of where you can ass here well he's he's uh, first of all he's a great kid to have around great person I'm a person guy like I'm players are not numbers they're people and you know, what he's brought since he's been here he's always smiling he's got Great attitude, terrific work ethic. It's you know, guys like to have him around, it's, and so that matters a lot. And, and of course, then there's the the size, and the enthusiasm, and all that. And and of course, he's got skills, got great vision. Like he can hold down the pucks, and he brings something that we don't have a lot of. He brings you know uh, a bit of nastiness and a bit of uh, toughness, uh, and probably his best. Uh, the, what he does best is go to the net. Everything around the net. He's our best. So, I mean, that makes a big difference. And when he left, he was playing terrific. Uh, he was getting tons of points. Uh, so, you know, I'm not expecting that tonight, to be honest with you. He hasn't played for a while here. So I'm expecting a few games for him before it, it's, it's where it was. And you got to understand also, even for a vet, when, you're, when you miss at the beginning, it's tougher than when you miss later because the beginning there's a big difference after a month where the league is gone and if you haven't played where you are so the league keeps 
in, you know increasing in caliber and and speed and all that and 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 so you got to catch up and it's a bit harder to catch up so we're not going to put any pressure on brady he's going to come in and do his best and uh we're going to take it one step at a time with him but definitely the person that he is uh, gives us gives us something without even stepping on the ice for the game already do you think when you first got tom shabbat here did you have any idea of where he would check to be in his first game wasn't on what you thought of it, but I remember I think his turnover led to the game-winning goal that day. Uh, <laughs> right, like, what did you think when you first saw him play, first got him here? Yeah, you know, I had heard things, and then you see him play. Well, the, the, the first thing that that you see is the you know, his mobility. It's you know, it's out of this world, really. It's it's an easy speed. I call it. He doesn't seem to have to push, and he's he's just gliding at a pace that very few guys can. Um, I think what he's gained over the last two, three years is, is he figured out that with that speed he can give himself more time and, and, and poise to, uh, so that he doesn't have to precipitate plays. And I think that's where a big part of his maturity is right now. Uh, the other thing is, is, you know, he's able to do outstanding things. But what's extraordinary is when a young gentleman like that decides to do the simple, ordinary things very well over and over again, in the end, that's extraordinary. Because young guys usually have a tendency to try to do extraordinary things, and that's where you know turnovers happen, big mistakes, and they go for the home run all the time. And that's what he's not doing. And that's exactly why he's getting all these points, and he's gaining that consistency. You know, you can look at different guys over the history of the game, but you know, if you look at guys like Ray Bork and Lidstrom and all the that's what these guys had. They had that ability of, you know what they're going to give you every game. And so they're consistent, they're reliable, and they get the results day in and day out. And right now, that's what's happening with him. He's, he's chosen to, to be great at the simple, ordinary things. That's extraordinary, because not a lot of people can do that, and that consistency comes very rarely. And so that humility has really served him well up to now, and that's why he's paid attention to the details. And his development is going very, very fast. So that's good for him, it's good for us, and he deserves it. All set, gentlemen? All right. Thank you.